Stock targets. In our series on peak oil, it's important that we speak about the International Energy Agency. The IEA numbers are wrong and deceiving. These numbers have always been deceiving and always exaggerating the future developments of the oil industry. This is the history of the IEA exaggerated forecasts. The forecasts made by the IEA for the world oil production have been going on since the 1970s. So the forecast for 2010, 40 years ago, so in the 1970s, was 123 million barrels of oil production per day. Obviously you see that this forecast has not been met by a very large margin. So again the forecasts were 123 million, if we look back to the 1970s when the IEA started to speak. In 1980 they forecast 108 million, in the 1990s they forecast 99 million, in the year 2000 they forecast 94 million, and in reality the oil production of 2010 was just 82 million. This is just one set of forecasts. In addition, and most surprising, the IEA doesn't have real analysts who do any field work. Most of their forecasts are based upon other people's forecasts, mainly the US Department of Energy, all assuming that their data is well documented. The latest forecast by the IEA say 104 million barrels should be the production rate per day in 2035. That is a growth rate of just below 1% per year in average for the next 20 years or so. We have been assessing uh, the forecasts of the IEA for many years now. As usual, these forecasts are a strong exaggeration of the future and we will illustrate this in the next few minutes. We have here the forecasts of the IEA um, which are different categories of oil and other uh, liquid fossil fuels. In dark blue we have the conventional oil then in light gray we have the conventional oil yet to be developed in other words developed in existing fields. In light blue we have conventional oil yet to be found. We have not found these reserves yet. We still need to find them and then to bring them online. In pink we have the natural gas liquids, usually propane. In yellow we have the tar sands, such as in Canada and Venezuela. In gray we have the shale oil, as forecast by the IEA, and in dark pink processing games, in other words making the whole uh, refinery process a bit more efficient and then in purple the biofuels which are in development mainly from corn. The summary of the present graph by the IEA is that today we have a production rate of 83 million barrels per day along the black dotted line. And then Another conclusion from this forecast is that in 2035, so in 22 years from now, we should have a daily production rate of 104 million barrels approximately. We are now going to make some corrections to these very weird forecasts. So we have a decline rate of roughly 2.5% of the conventional oil production we will tend to go along the forecast of the IEA. As you can see, conventional oil production is coming down. The reserves are just drying up. Here in gray, the conventional oil yet to be developed. In other words, using the existing fields capacity, we're going to drill more. It is needless to say that this is a gross exaggeration of the reality. Everybody uh, looks at the capacity to be increased by 5 or 10% over what we have today on existing fields. Not that in 
20 years, there'll be as much additional capacity than what was produced before. We are going to divide this number in two, and even then, we think we are exaggerating the future. Here in light blue, we have the conventional oil yet to be found. What a weird concept of yet to be found. In other words, the IEA is making a forecast on how the world of energy exploration is going to find new resources somewhere, essentially made of conventional oil. Well, our forecast is that this light blue wedge is going to completely disappear from our forecasts. Here in pink, we have the forecast on natural gas liquids. We're going to keep this forecast uh, equivalent to the IEA, simply because the source for this is natural gas, and the, the reserves of natural gas are still quite big. Here in yellow, the forecast of production in tar sands. This again is a gross exaggeration. There might be a lot of reserves of tar sands out there, but the cost of extraction, which is a combination of investment in order to pull the resource out of the ground and the slow pace at which one can pull this resource out of the ground, uh, make this the most expensive oil you can find nowadays. There are only two spots on Earth with real tar sands reserves, that is, the Canadian tar sands in Alberta and the Venezuelan tar sands in the Orinoco. Imagining that almost 10% of the world oil production in 20 years will come from only two spots on Earth is a, just a big dream. Now in gray, the shale oil. And the forecast of the IAE is um, that there is not a, a lot of shale oil out there anyway. The shale oil plays, as uh, described in, by many, isn't such a lot of oil from a worldwide perspective. Indeed, the production in uh, North Dakota and these various shale oil basins is pretty promising, but from a worldwide scale point of view, it's really small. It might serve North America quite well, but it's not going to help the rest of the world. Now in pink, processing gains. A continuous improvement in refining methodologies should allow to have a little increase in production. Yes, we'll keep the forecasts from the IEA as we did for the shale oil production. Now in purple, the biofuels. Biofuels can increase in production. One thing which needs to be understood is the amount of land, of cropland needed for producing biofuels is quite high and therefore taking away a lot of space for food. In reality, biofuels, when they are produced, automatically generate an increase in the cost of food. Now, in summary, our adjusted forecasts. Essentially, we have reduced the conventional oil yet to be developed forecast in two. The conventional oil yet to be found, we've dropped that to zero. Natural gas liquids have been remaining equivalent, tar sands have been divided in two, and shale oil has been kept as is. You can see how quickly just a few adjustments on forecast can make a huge difference in the outcome. This has been done just by adjusting a few very stupid statements by the IEA. So here again, the forecast by the IEA. 104 million barrels of daily production in 2035. And here our adjusted forecast by making the changes which we just described before. And that forecast is only 69 million barrels of oil production in 2035. Our conclusion is that the IEA is an unreliable source of forecasts. It is a biased organization that conducts PR for the oil industry, resulting in attracting large amounts of capital and government subsidies. A large number of institutions rely on the International Energy Agency. Well, 
they shouldn't. Within all forecasts made by the IEEA, and never do we see any mention of a curve or of a peak, neither historically nor in the future. It is to believe that the IEA does not know what a peak is. The International Energy Agency is one of the most unreliable forecasting agencies one can find. Stock targets.